Okay, so let's try. This is uh, Eternal Darkness. I'll do one or two runs of the intro, and then I'll go into the rest of it.
I did some other stuff there, but that's basically it. There's no drums during the first part. The de -de 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 -de. That'll start off with mainly acoustic, two tracks, and then electric, not distorted, and then in, it'll come in, you know, like like uh, another song we all know and love called Diary of a, a Dipshit. So while that's coming, you know, playing the intro. And all that is, is it's kind of that, it's that chord. Wait. So basically I'm doing one chord and I'm leaving out a note. So it sounds like a song. And then the other one, the other those two are just whatever. And that's mainly the bass and then the guitar is doing that. But the bass is going to be driving that part, and then... And then it changes into... That's pretty much it. And then the E whatever will be the solo but i haven't even tried working out the solo yet so there you go i've talked about nothing what i want to talk about is that fake guitar on uh facebook that i posted it's it's a it's do not buy it i thought you know because there's some people on there like wow if i had the money don't i know exactly who did those autographs he he's a shyster he's been doing it for like 25 years and his his uh the thing that always makes it wrong because i have a, a picture that he was trying to sell to me and i'm like dude i know you did this there's no way ozzy signed this that good ozzy never signs i have ozzy's autograph like 10 times I don't know why, just because it happens. And he... You can barely tell it says Ozzy Osbourne. You can barely tell it says Ozzy. And if he's going to do... This guy lays a fake Les Paul in front of him, and he's going to take his time to write, like, the perfect... No. So it's Ozzy, Randy, uh, Bob, and... See, was it Ozzy and Randy are the same colors? I don't know. It's right here. But just don't buy it. I'm telling you, do not buy it. I'm telling he. There's very few things out there with his signature. And if you are ever going to buy one, let me look at it because I have his signature, and it's fairly uh, easy to. Once you see it, you know. Like, go to the Charvel Jackson world, where the he's signed his uh, receipt for the Flying V, the dot. That's his signature. It's always been like that. But he did start to, you know, Randy Rhodes trying to get the RR thing going. R R R R. Is that Mr. Krabs? So, uh, no one will get that, because no one watches Spongebob. I hope you guys don't. I do all the time, but, you know, I'm crazy. So, this is my page, my Facebook page, if you've never seen it. And let's see if we can find the guitar for you. It's being stupid because I'm holding it weird. There's Randy. I'm I'm uh, making some I'm making a lot of copies for that bootleg for people so like I'm burning copies and I'm also uh, downloading some new bootlegs that I'm gonna put out I'm just trying to okay here it is 
see that if you see that on the internet and it's like three thousand and it's the place that's selling it is uh autograph off autographs authentication autograph authentic store and bob randy and lee signed in red Ozzy signed in black, and so did Don Airy. On a fake Gibson Les Paul, a 70, just fake. It's probably a Lotus. I can't tell because it really doesn't show the headstock. I think the headstock's blacked out. But why would someone go through all the trouble of getting a, this guitar signed? It's junk. And that Ozzy signature is too perfect. I'll show you one of mine that he signed, but and he and the Aussie one goes right through Randy's signal. I don't know, it just there's a lot of things wrong with it. And I really doubt that he got Bob and Lee and Randy really together at the same time. He must have lived in England. See, I'm trying to find out what exactly uh who who they got this from but the guy they won't tell me they're like only serious offers and then my friend jeff look at this a zach wild a zach wild with ozzy randy <laughs> zach wild and bob daisley are you kidding me and it's all in gold. All their signatures are in gold. And how the hell did Randy come back to life to sign this guitar after he'd been dead for a long time? Because this guitar just came out a few years ago. This is a new Zach Wild. So that's just amazingly stupid. So that's obvious. You, you, Anybody with a brain that's old enough would go, oh. Come on, are you kidding me? But the other one is actually fooling some people, and I don't want anybody to get ripped off. I mean, you know, it sucks. So do not buy that other one because they are fake autographs, all of them. If I even thought, hey, maybe. But no, they're all fake. He might have got... See, I can't tell. But the... Odds of getting them all together would mean that the guy had to get it done in England. Because they never toured here. Did they come out here? They came. Did they come out here ever? Bob and... I can't remember. I don't think so. But it's wrong. It, it's fake. I know by the Aussie signature and the Randy Rhodes is... You know. So don't buy it. You want to see, I got Randy Rhodes' signature.